Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. This is Katie. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. I'm really glad that you're here too. Today, if it isn't totally obvious, I'm going to be sharing with you an unboxing of one of Diamond Art Club's more recent new releases of a canvas that was actually a bit of a surprise release. They hadn't done a sneak peek of it ahead of time. I thought I was safe for that week. And <laughs> then I got the email and took another look at it and was like, ooh, this is one of my favorite artists. Am I going to get one or both of her pieces? <laughs> so packing slip. Look. All right, let me get that out of the way and get into this a little bit. So how are you all doing today? Have you guessed what this particular unboxing kit is? So this is obviously from Diamond Art Club. They legally license all of their artwork and regularly sign new artists, including this one. Safina Art is the name of the artist. I'm going to link her Instagram in the description. And this piece we'll be unboxing is called Snow Deer. If you weren't familiar with Diamond Art Club, if you see the blue line on their box, as well as the blue square there, that lets us know that this is going to be a square drill diamond painting kit. So as always, we get all of our goodies. Did this, I want, oh, there it is. I was going to say, do we get our stickers? So this is our inventory sheet. This is actually a sticker sheet. So you can cut these out and put these symbols and labels directly onto your storage containers if you do kit up into storage containers, which I always do. This kit has 30 colors. It is 43 by 59 centimeters. And like I said, the diamond shape is square. Now, um, Diamond Art Club is calling this piece Snow Deer. I want to say the artist flat out calls this something with Bambi in the title because that's who it is kind of inspired by. So it looks like we have two ABs in this kit as well. You also get a smaller size sticker that you can either use, a lot of people use it in their log books of diamond paintings, or if you want to stick it on the end of the box that it came in, it makes it a little easier to find the kit you're looking for in your stash, especially if you have a large stash like yours truly. <laughs> I will just very quickly show you what the toolkit looks like. Even if you've seen it before, I'm sure that there are some people that may not have. They gave us a lot of plastic baggies this time, two heart-shaped waxes, a multi-placer, a boat, a pair of pointy tweezers since we have a square drill kit today. They are very pointy, so keep that guard on. And your basic diamond painting pen. A small plug, if you are new to diamond painting and you are interested in upgrading from some of the tools that come in your basic beginner toolkit, I actually just posted a video of my top five recommended upgrades for beginners. Things like getting a larger diamond painting tray, a more comfortable diamond painting pen, that sort of thing. So, oh my gosh, look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have a bag of drills here. This is maybe the smallest bag of drills I've gotten in a while, especially if you've watched any of my recent unboxings. Most of them have been for quite larger canvases. If you're new to diamond painting, they do include step-by-step -step instructions, which is always helpful. And I always do recommend, if you are new to diamond painting, that you go and check out some YouTube videos for some basic how-tos. There are a lot of really fabulous um, diamond painting YouTube channels out there and lots of really great beginner tips. So what I'm doing right here, because this canvas just really doesn't want to sit flat right out the gate and I want to get a good look at it, <laughs> I am uh, pulling back the cover halfway to help the canvas flatten a bit. This is um, a poured glue on the canvas, which is a really forgiving kind of glue to put your drills on. 
Diamond Art Clubs in particular always feels really soft and almost like a pillow to me. Um, it's squishy. <laughs> and like I said, very forgiving. And any of the lines that you might be seeing or have seen in the can, what looks like lines or wrinkles under the canvas, those aren't actually wrinkles. That's just where the adhesive shifted when it was rolled. And by pulling the plastic cover back halfway each way, now it is laying nice and flat. Look how adorable this is. Oh my gosh. Let's take a quick look at the drill field. It looks like there's quite a lot of color blocking. I really badly want to kit this one up and like knock it out after I finish my current project. Well, one of my current projects. As always, well, as 99% of the time, the drill field looks super clear, no weird symbols, no awkward printing issues, lots of color blocking. I bet I could work this up pretty quickly. Super pretty. We'll take a look at the drills and see what our two AB colors are, and I'll we'll come back to this and point out where those are. Let's do a quick measurement. This is 59 centimeters tall, which is what it should measure. And we've got 43 wide. So it does measure true to size. Um, a really quick note about this artist, Safina Art. Um, I have seen so much of her work at the Wonderground Gallery at Downtown Disney. I live in Southern California, 15 minutes from Disneyland. And when the parks were open, I was frequently walking through downtown Disney and walking by their art gallery where did they have a lot where Disney has a number of their contracted artists that do Disney inspired artwork and sell it as well. And so as soon as I saw this artist's artwork on Diamond Art Club's website for their surprise release, I thought, oh my gosh, they're contracted with this artist. I love her artwork. She has really, really beautiful pieces that are um, inspired by the Little Mermaid, and I'm really hoping that we get to see those soon. The other piece that was released from her the same day was an Alice in Wonderland partial, which was so adorable. I almost bought both, but I was trying to be good because I broke my no buy to get this one. <laughs> so, and if you didn't know, Safina Art is JoJo's Art's sister. Can we talk about the genetics in that family for a second? Because hello can we share the love please no no i thought that was really neat uh when i saw jojo's art post like a uh, congratulations to my sister for her artwork uh launching at diamond art club i was like what siblings well that explains a lot if you didn't know jojo's art has quite a lot of artwork at diamond art club i'm sure that if you saw it you would recognize it a lot of like the wolves and lions and fire and ice themes and that sort of thing. Really beautiful artwork. Okay, after that whole tangent, let's get into the drills. <laughs> if you weren't aware, Diamond Art Club does put a label on the bag of drills for what kit they match with. So if for whatever reason you store your canvases and your drills outside of the box that they came in, but also separate from each other, it's easy to match them up again. So if you're not a fan of the crinkle, mute for just a sec. And here we go. So like I said, these are square, this is a square drill kit. Three, three, two, five, three bags of that color. Two bags of 3755. Oh, I love this. I feel like I've been seeing 775 in a lot of my kits lately, this minty aqua. Two bags of 334. Ooh, look at that lavender. Oh, I love that. 211. Three bags of 211. Two bags of 322. I'm gonna have just about every shade of blue you can get. 799 and 3841. Ooh, 210, I like that lavender too. Super pretty. ABs must be hiding in the smaller strand. That's okay. All right, 312, ooh, just a little handful of 310. 321, 498, oh, let me take a quick look. 
at drill quality since sometimes squares can give us trouble with little extra bits hanging off the sides. I see a tiny bit of trash, but for the most part, looks pretty good quality, which is typical with Diamond Art Club. There we go. First AB orange. Look at that tangerine. Super sparkly. If you're not familiar with what an AB drill is, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And it is a diamond that has that extra coating on the top that just gives it that much more glitz and sparkle. It catches the light and the colors of the diamonds around it and just really can enhance a picture beautifully. So 433, 444, 938, 898. Ooh, 20, and then 129 is our other AB. It looks kind of like butter or like scrambled eggs. There's a couple, there's a few stragglers in there. <laughs> That's okay. So just a little handful of these. You can see that little sparkle there. We'll take a look at the canvas to see where we'll find these. 3371. These, a lot of these bags have just a smallest handful of colors and Diamond Art Club does usually give us quite a few extra. So I have to think some of these, there's only gonna be a few on this canvas. 666, that red. Okay, let's look at the canvas again and look for where those ABs are. Our ABs are gonna be symbols one and two. Sure enough, Bambi. <laughs> There's both one and two. So Bambi is going to stand out quite a bit against the rest of this canvas. There is a little bit over here in the tree. We have the number one, just a little bit there. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> so Bambi gets our ABs. <laughs> which is fine. That'll still look really, really pretty and help help that really pop. I, I want to work on this like now. <laughs> I'm going to try to finish my current whip, uh, the Randall Spangler I'm working on, and then I, I'd love to knock this out because it feels like, okay, it's January. It's still wintry. I could fit this in the season and it just makes me happy. I, I love this a lot. So even though I'm not a huge fan of the movie Bambi, this art, I can't get over this artwork and her art style. It's just lovely. So that is, ooh, last thing. I always forget something till the end. Let's test the tackiness of the glue. And kind of as always, Diamond Art Club, pretty sticky. Though every once in a while, they do have a little hiccup with the quality. If you ever run into something like that, Diamond Art Club has great customer service. Just shoot them a message either on Facebook or email them and they will get you taken care of. They have helped quickly and without any fuss as any time I've had to reach out to them with problems. So um, just out of curiosity, did you pick up any either of the two new kits from this artist last week? Um, I'd love to see if you'd be working on either of these. They're so darn cute, I think. They are both currently out of stock, but often if something sells out that quickly, Diamond Art Club takes that as a like, oh, let's restock that. So hopefully we'll see them come back soon, but keep an eye out. Uh, you can sign up for email notifications on the website. Um, and that's it for today for this one, you guys. Please let me know in the comments, as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, what have you. Um, and of course, if this was helpful for you, please leave this video, leave a thumbs up on this video before you click away. Thank you for watching. If you're not already subscribed and you had fun with this video with me, or you'd like to see more, I'd love if you subscribed and join my little circle on the internet here. I try to share lots of fun and helpful content with you guys regularly and check in with you at least a couple of times a week anyway. So I hope you're all having a really wonderful week and that you enjoyed looking at this cute little Bambi canvas with me and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.